Hello, my most amazing artists. Last week, we took a look at the group of painters called the Florida Highwaymen. The Florida Highwaymen was a group of African Americans that lived a long time ago. Probably they were working about 80 years ago that they started painting, and they painted landscapes. A landscape is a painting of the land, the sky, the trees, anything outside in nature. It usually goes across the page and spans on that whole thing. It doesn't usually have any people in it or really in many houses sometimes, but it's mostly of the land and focusing on the nature. So we were working on creating our very own landscapes in the style of the Florida Highwaymen. We started out by painting the sky. Now you'll notice a lot of these are either cool or warm colors. This one specifically is warm. Then we were using white paint to make the clouds and black paint to make the silhouette of the trees and the horizon line. The horizon line, this is why I'm marking these pages, is the line that goes across the page separating the sky from the land. It's where you can see the horizon, where that sun would set over top of. Usually, we're looking at sunset pictures. When the Florida Highwaymen did their paintings, they did a lot of sunset paintings because of the beautiful reflections that the sun made in the water and all of the pretty colors in the sky. Now, this one is a cool colored one. Again, this one would be a warm colored one. This one looks like it's a cool colored painting. Let's see if you can guess the next ones. Which one? That one is cool. What about this one? Cool again. This one, that one, that one. Oh, there's so many. Most of these looked like they were cool colors. That one looks like warm colors. Remember, you had to pick either cool or warm for your sky because if you mix both together, you will get brown. After you painted your sky, you worked on those big fluffy clouds with the white paint and a foam paintbrush by doing a dabbing motion. It's very important that you paint in the order with sky, clouds, horizon line, and then your trees and texture because Florida Highwaymen had to paint fast. They had to paint fast so that they could sell a lot of their paintings. Remember, they lived at a time where there was a lot of discrimination against African Americans, which meant people didn't want their paintings in museums or really want to buy their paintings just because of their skin color, which was not fair at all, especially because their paintings were so amazing. Of course, now we recognize that everybody is equals and it doesn't matter your skin color, especially to be an artist. So now these paintings are are worth a lot of money. But back then, they used to go door to door and sell them for very, very cheap, just for dollars. Now they're worth hundreds and thousands of dollars and are hung in museums, especially in our local museum. We're lucky that we have some of the Florida Highwaymen paintings in our Daytona Museum of Arts and Sciences. It's really cool to get to see these in person, although in this book, there are plenty of them printed in here. But of course, they're much bigger and even better when you see them up close in real life. I'm just tagging some of my favorites here that show the silhouettes. So when you paint, we're going to pay more attention to things like the trees and details in the sky today. Let's go ahead and revisit some of our art from last week. Here is one of my paintings that I worked on last week. It is now dry, so I need to put some more wet paint on top of it if I wasn't done making the texture. Remember, we're making silhouettes of trees in the horizon line, so I'm going to use some black paint over top of it to get that paint wet again. Then I can take my small paintbrush and use the back side of the brush to carve into the paint and make texture. I can make that grass by swiping up and I can even write my name in the bottom right corner. Artists always sign their name on their finished masterpieces, so we might as well try it with this secret trick to carve your name into there and show it with just the back of your paintbrush, not even with paint. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add some more texture to my trees. Remember, for the palm fronds, I swipe down. And now I'm going to use the painted side of the paintbrush or the bristles of it to make some little birds. This is just like the letter V. If you noticed on my tree trunk, I was also making that same motion or letter V to give the trunk of the palm tree some texture. It probably would be pointy and spiky. I'm going to make my birds very light, not too big, so it shows that they're in the background. Then I'm going to work on a big palm tree, maybe in the background. Notice my first palm tree is really close to the front of the painting. Now this palm tree I'm making farther away. I can show something called depth in my painting by showing some things that are closer to the front of it and some things that are further away. 
when you show something that's farther away in your painting, it will get smaller and smaller. Unless it's a really, really tall palm tree, then it appears to look taller, but it's still smaller. It's not close up and the trunk of the tree doesn't reach the bottom of my paper. It stops at the horizon line. You also don't want to have any floating trees, so I make sure that those palm trees always touch at least the horizon line. Some I can put in the middle and some I can put in the very front to show that some are closer, some are farther away, and some are really far away back in the distance like this little tree. I'm going to keep working on details and little tiny palm trees showing that they are far away and it's going to make my painting look much more realistic. The Florida Highwaymen did this in their artwork as well. It's really cool to show that you know how to create a painting that shows that it has depth. It almost looks like you could walk right into it and see all those different trees in real life in this pretty sunset. Now I'm gonna show a real tree. Now these are all real trees, but I mean a tree maybe like an oak tree or a weeping willow, a different kind of tree because Florida doesn't only have palm trees, we have lots of different types of trees. I'm gonna show the winding branches on my tree and show that maybe they have some leaves and then I'm gonna use the bottom of my brush to kind of scribble scrabble a little to show maybe some of that weeping willow moss coming off of the tree hanging down so you can make different types of trees just make sure that you are being careful with that black paint and not smearing your hand all across it of course we will wear aprons today to help prevent that but just do your very best work make sure your name is on the bottom in the right corner and then if you are all finished today and you have all your details on that painting then it'll go on the drying rack the next option you'll have to do is you will have the option to make a second painting. This second painting should be the opposite background or sky color of your first one. So if I did cool on this painting, that means my next painting would be warm. If you did warm last week on your painting, well then your next painting would be cool. So you're going to create a total of two. Try to do some different techniques. If you haven't had a chance to show water yet, I can show that water by just creating a few black lines, but my horizon line in the background. It looks like water because I could see the reflection of the sky and the sunset in the water. I will show some maybe moss on the trees or maybe some grass in the background and grass in the front, but water in the middle, like a lake or a river. This will look really cool and I cannot wait to see the different techniques that you use of the Florida Highwaymen to create your own masterpieces. All right, awesome artists, when you're all done, you'll put them on the drying rack. Have a fantastic time today.